Hi everyone, today we're going to have a look at how to create a multi-page form using Seblod. Uh, the multi-page form feature is something that's new in, uh, in Seblod 3.0 and um, it's a great feature um, but there isn't terribly much documentation about it yet so I've made this video to show you the basics of it. Um, we're going to create a multi-page uh, contact form to show in the front end of our website. So go into your form and content type manager and create your new content type based on an article. I'm going to call it contact form. And I'm going to make a few quick fields for it. Oh, I've used that one before. Alright, so there are basic fields that we're going to get information from the user, so the name, email, and message. And we're also just going to make another field here um, that will send us an email anytime someone um, submits a, a contact inquiry. So we're going to call that. Um, And in this from field, we're going to put uh, the name, the alias of the field where we're taking the email address from the user. And here we're going to put in the alias of the field where we get the name of the user. All right, and I want that to come through to, I think it's high. Actually, I think we need to put that in here. So this is what our, uh, the email is going to read in our inbox. Um, And you can put in the, um, the fields by using hashes around the alias. I'll just do this really quickly. You'll probably want to put in uh, labels and that sort of thing on the one that you actually use. So that's all set. Okay, so now I've got to go ahead and make sure that all of these fields that we've just created are added to our site form. So that'll be visible in the front end of the website. Okay, so we've got name, email, email send, and message. So we're going to hide that one. And of course, we need to put in a submit button. 
All right, so that's how you would do it if it was a one-page form. You've got everything there. Um, but, of course, we're doing something which has um, multiple pages, so we need to add in those different um, pages, those place marks for those pages uh, to this site form view. So the way that we do that is we go into the configuration and we change the stages count. Um, so just for the purposes of this, we're going to make it three stages, which is a bit cumbersome for this example, but uh, you get the point. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that in the first step, they add their email, then they add their name, and then they add the message in the third step. And we do that by toggling down to this third tab here and selecting the stage. So we've got the first stage there, the second stage there, and the final stage for these ones. Now, of course, to get from stage to stage, we need a button that will take us to the next uh, stage. So we put that and also apply those stages to the buttons as well. Okay. Now, the last thing that's left to do, and this is the, the tricky thing that, that isn't so intuitive when you go to try and do this yourself, is we need to change the permissions of the site form. And um, like the same way that you would for any uh, form that you put on the front end, you change the permissions to allow the public to be able to create content. And you also need to allow the public to be able to edit content of that particular content type. Now, I'm not sure whether this poses a security risk or not, so you have to proceed with caution with this. I don't think it does, but this is the only way that I've been able to get it to work is by allowing um, front-end users to edit uh, this content type. So let's save and close that and see what it looks like in the front-end. I'm just going to create a quick menu item for it. Okay, so here we can see our contact form. I put in my email address. Now I get to the next page of my form. saves our message. Now if we go into our article manager to see where that's submitted, there it is. So there's an example of how multi-page forms work in Seblod.